Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to display an image in an image view. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating, a simple round rack button and when we hit it, our image is displayed in an image view. So already, I have my project set up. It's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it display image for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add in our outlet and action for the button and the image view. So to do that we go into our view controller.h and after the first curly bracket here, let's hit enter twice and I'll zoom in for you now. And we'll add our outlet for our image view. So we type in IB outlet space UI image view space asterisk and I'll name the image view simply image view so it's really easy to understand when we come to the coding part and just after the first curly bracket let's enter a few more times and here we're typing our action button so to do it we do dash bracket IB action bracket and I'll name the action button simply show image. So that's really easy to understand again. So then once you've done that, we can zoom out and save that. And now we need to drag in our image to our project or import our image. And I've got one on the desktop just here of our geeky lemon. So simply, or use your own image, just simply drag it into your project. And then when the options come up here, make sure you click it copy items to destinations group folder just in case you need it later on in your project then once that's done we go into our view controller button and just after the implementation and I'll zoom in for you now so what we need to do is do dash bracket IB action and the name of our action button which was simply show image space curly bracket and hit enter once you've done that, we can type in UI image space asterisk and I'll give it a short name of IMG, short for image, space equals, space bracket. And again, UI image, then type in space image name, named, sorry. And in the image named here, we do at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and in between the two quotation marks, we simply type in the name of our image, which in my case is lemon.png. So we just type in lemon.png. Then after the final quotation mark, hit bracket, semicolon, and then press enter. And then we finish it up with bracket, and then the name of our outlet, which we named it image view space set image in the highlighter section here we need to set it to the image and which we gave it a short name of IMG we simply type in IMG here and finish that with a bracket and a semicolon and we can save that if you want to pause the video now catch up on any of our coding but now I'll just zoom out now we go to our view controller.xib where we will add our round rect button and image view so to bring up all the objects Simply click the box up here with the grey shaded rectangle on the right. This will bring up all your utilities. And then check off. And then just make that a little bit bigger. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag in our image view. Don't want it that big, so bring it down a little bit more. I'll place that just there. And then finally, we need to drag in our round rect button make it a little bit bigger so it's in proportion with the image view and then once we've done that we need to link up the connections so we simply click files owner and then at the top here we got the outlets we drag our image view to our image view and our show image action to our round rec button and you can choose any of these but for this tutorial I'll be doing touchdown and once we've done that we can save that and then go straight to build and run There's no errors in the project as the code is simply pretty straightforward. 
So Kenan, so once the application is loaded in your iPhone simulator, your image view is blank, and we have our Rainbow button here, and as soon as we hit it, our lemon has shown up. Now it looks a little bit squashed, so if I quickly go back here, and make the image view a bit bigger, save that, build and run again. Now it'll be different depending on the size of any of your images, but now if we hit it, it's a little bit more in proportion and looks a little bit better. So there you go. That's simply how you display images in image views. So I hope this helps in any of your projects or apps at the moment. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't Make sure you subscribe.